Suppose you have a three phase motor and you have to run this motor by connecting three phase power supply. Now when you go for connection of this motor, then you will get total six wires on the terminals of motor for connection. Now on the terminals, there are total six wires. So how to do connection of motor? If you work in an electrical field, then you must have know that three phase motor we use inside this motor, there is three phase winding. Now inside this motor, three windings are there. So at the outside, we get total six wires, which are used for connection. Now these six wires you have, you can connect these six wires by two ways. If you want, you can connect motor winding in star or you can connect motor winding in delta. Now there may be a doubt in your mind that whether we should connect motor winding in star or in delta. We should connect this motor winding in delta or in star. You will get this answer by yourself at the end of this video. Before understanding the difference between star connection and delta connection, let me tell you how to connect motor winding in star and how to connect in delta. Like here you can see I have three phase winding here. Now let us connect one terminal of winding at a single point. I mean take one wire of all the winding and connect with each other. So this will be star connection. Now if you want to connect motor winding in delta, then in this condition, what you have to do, connect the motor windings in series. That is what you have to do, take one end of winding and connect with one end of another winding. Similarly, take other end of same winding and connect with one end of third winding. If you connect motor winding in this way, then it will be known as delta connection. And if you connect it in this way, then it will be known as star connection. By connecting motor winding directly, how you will make star connection and how you will make delta connection that I explain you. Now by taking same wire and connecting with motor terminals, you want to make star connection and delta connection. Then how you can make if you want to learn, then I already made a full practical video. You can watch that video so that you can understand everything perfectly. For now, I am explaining only this much that motor terminals you have. If on the terminals connection is like this, then it will be star connection. And if on the motor terminals connection is done like this, then it will be delta connection. If motor connection is done in star, then what you only need to do on the below three terminals, you have to connect R by B all the three phase power supply. If motor windings are connected in delta, then in this condition by connecting power supply to motor, you want to run motor, then in this condition, what you will do, whatever is the R by B phase power supplies there, take all the power supply and with motor terminals, connect these like this. You can see here how to connect wires in this connection. So how to connect motor winding in star or in delta, you understood. Now you will understand what will happen on connecting motor winding in star and what will happen on connecting in delta. If you connected your motor in star, then in this condition, keep one thing in mind that motor you have to the winding of motor, you are giving only 240 volt power supply. Three phase power supply you connected, it has voltage 415 volt. But to the one winding, voltage which is provided is only 240 volt. It means root 3 of line to line voltage motor winding is getting. Like in this picture, you can see R phase and B phase here. Between these two, voltage is 415. But to the R phase winding, this winding is getting only 240 volt power supply. Reason behind this is we connected motor winding in star. On connecting in star, this center point will work as neutral. Now if I measure voltage on both the ends of R phase winding, then I will only get 230 to 240 volt. First point is on connecting motor winding in star, motor winding receives less voltage. Now if you connected this motor winding in delta, then in this condition, motor winding will receive full voltage. It means even a single winding will get 415 volt voltage. So you understood on connecting motor winding in star, motor winding will get less voltage. If we provide less voltage, then in this condition, when we give power supply to start motor, then starting current will be only three to four times of current. Suppose you have a motor and if you want to run this motor and the current of that motor will be around 10 ampere. But when you start this motor, then at the starting time, current can be multiples. On running this motor, 10 ampere current which was flowing, three to four times of this current will flow at the starting time. If you connected motor winding in delta, then motor you have starting current of your motor will be six to seven times of FLC. If current in this motor is 10 ampere in running condition, 
when you start this motor in delta connection then 60 to 70 ampere current will flow in the starting time next difference here is speed of the motor running in star connection this speed will be low but motor running in delta connection have high speed compared to star connection besides on connecting motor winding in star starting torque is also reduced but in delta connection starting torque which is required this complete torque is provided to motor difference i told you just now apart from this there are many differences which i did not covered in this video they are not much important so i skipped those now question arises here is to run this motor whether we should connect motor winding in star or in delta so here keep two things in your mind that you can connect motor winding in star or in delta first thing for which you have to be careful is how much starting torque is required to start the motor if load connected with the motor is less and to start motor along with load less torque is required then you can connect motor in star but to turn on motor if high torque is required then in this condition you have to connect motor winding in delta besides second thing which you must keep in mind is load connected with motor to run that load how much power is required if to run the load less power is required then in this condition you can do connection in star okay i am explaining this in short suppose you have a motor power rating of that motor is 10 kw now if you connected load with this motor and after connecting load when you check power consumption then it is showing only 3 kw to 4 kw power consumption it means less load connected with motor then in this condition if you want you can connect motor winding in star if load on motor is more than 40% then in this condition you have to connect motor winding in delta only friends before ending this video i want to tell you one more thing if you see that data plate of motor then on the data plate symbol of star and delta is there if on the data plate only star symbol is there and according to data plate it is told you have to connect motor winding in star then please don't connect motor in delta because if you look into the insulation of winding of motor then this is designed according to star connection if you connect motor winding in delta and high current flows then insulation of motor will become weak and even your motor may burn out so be careful about this point okay then i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video